Okay, so I'm going to have to charge up my uh, PNI Escort HP82 CB radio. I've been using it a lot recently and it won't even turn on. The battery is completely flat. One of the great things I love about this radio is that you can charge it via USB. If you unplug or undo the little uh, protector rubber thing on the side, you can see we've got a USB-C uh, charger plug. And I love that about this because a lot of my radios I choose for charging capabilities, whether it's amateur radio, uh, PMR or CB. And with this one, luckily, you can charge with USB. So using solar easily or smaller battery packs easily, you can charge this device up. Now, I did a video yesterday on this uh, Vida IT portable telephone charger. It's a nice, small, thin one, built-in uh, power lead to charge your phone with a micro USB. Unfortunately, it's the wrong one for this one. However, if you've seen the video, you'll know that if I undo the lead, underneath there is a USB port. So, what I'm going to do is to use this USB-C lead. I'm going to plug this into the top of the battery pack. If I put the plug the right way. There we go. That's in. And then I'm going to plug the USB-C plug into the side of the radio. And it's in. It's charging up now. The red light is on. This uh, light was on momentarily. But obviously it's gone off now, but that did indicate it's charging. So now it's just a matter of leaving it to do its business. So we'll come back in a little while. Uh, it is now, uh, it's half past, half past three. Gracious, the time goes quickly. It's half past three now. Let's give that a little while and then we'll uh, come back to it and see what's the charge we get. Right, it's been 25 minutes. Let's see how it's getting on. So it's still charging, red light is on. There's no other indicator on here uh, other than the red light. But let's just power it up. Nice and bright. Okay, so it's charging. It doesn't show the charge right there. However, pull that out. And what have we got? So it's flashing. So technically it's still pretty much flat. Uh, we can turn to 19. Test 1, 2. Test 1, 2. So it's transmitting. And it's powering up and it's working. So let's put it on for more of a charge. Bearing in mind, when I first put this on charge 25 minutes ago, uh, it, it wouldn't even turn on. It was completely flat. It wouldn't even switch on. So we'll put it back on to charge now um, and then come back to us in a little while. Back on charge. Right, leave it a bit longer. Okay, a couple of hours has passed now. Um, I've just taken it off charge. Um, one, one blob. So you've got one blob, which considering how long this battery will last for on one blob, uh, that's quite good. Um, it's been on for about four or five hours altogether. I've had other things to do and didn't get around to unplugging it. So that is completely uh, discharged. So it won't charge this fully, which is understandable. I wouldn't expect it to, but um, it's given me a blob. So that's uh, several hours worth of uh, usage. So that's good news. Excellent, right, okay then. Um, I think I'm gonna try, uh, try another video. But I'll have to wait till in the morning. Right, okay, catch you in a bit. Okay, so I was quite pleased with yesterday's test. Um, charging up the PNI Escort HP82. Charged it with a little battery pack. I want to try something a bit different. Let's have a look outside. I want to try charging it using solar panel. Now this is uh, a solar panel I made a few years ago. If I can open it up, it comprises of two, two solar panels, about six, six, seven volts each, wired in parallel to give me through a little home 
or solar parts USB output. Should give me about 5.2 volts. Probably give me a few amps, not even a few amps. Might give me a few watts. <laughs> a few amps would be ideal, wouldn't it? Um, let's see how this gets on. Oh, I need two hands with this, hang on. Right, so I'm gonna move. It's no sun. It's all where I was. I wanna get the little bit of sun at least would be nice. It says only uh, just after nine in the morning, so the sun's not uh, yet properly up. But for the moment, we've got a bit of sun here. I think this will be an ideal place to try it. So there's my panel. There's my lead. Radio completely dead. So, yeah, I need my tripod, hang on. Put that in like so. Right, so panel, bleed. There, light is on. So it's charging up using that panel. Oh, so it's enough to kick it on. It's showing that it's charging. I'm transmitting, I'm not sure what power, but that's transmitting, it's powering up. Right, let's leave it there and we'll come back to it uh, in a little while. Right, it's just about half past three. I've been out for the day, so I've not been with it. So, still charging, the sun's gone. Let's move to the side of the house. I've moved it from uh, up that table um, shortly after I did the video, uh, just because the, uh, the umbrella was gonna shade it, so. I thought best just move it. So it's just been sat here. Uh, let's unplug it before I turn it on. What have we got? Okay, we've got two blobs. Well, that is pretty good. I'm impressed with that. 90 to Roger. That is good though. Um, we've had mostly sun. But uh, for that little panel there, to power that up as much as it has, I'm quite surprised. That will last hours, that will, those two blobs. When I was using this before, um, a lot of my QSOs were on just the one blob. And it lasted a long time. I'll go down to one when you transmit. And go back up to two. So, probably just over a quarter. A quarter left of the battery. So that's pretty good. Well, I'm impressed. Right, okay. Well, that's all the tests for today. I'm going to go and pack away now. Exciting. Tomorrow, got a road test. Bit of a road trip to do. So I'm going to be filming using this uh, handheld, this P&I, and, I, and uh, use the full car kit that comes with it. So we'll be doing some tests and some reviews and see how we get on with the uh, the accessory kit. So uh, that's tomorrow's job. So uh, you should get that in a few days. Right, okay, enjoy, and I'll catch you later on.